exciting is it to be out here even the Sweet 16 matchup, especially the program's second in three years? It's very exciting. I mean, what Coach Staley's done in her six years at, at the university has been very, very impressive. And, you know, I was thinking about it this morning. To get in this position is not easy. You know, she has uh, certainly put us in a position with our women's basketball program to compete for a national championship. Is that an easy task? Absolutely not. And, you know, whether it'll be this year or somewhere down the road, she's in position. And that's, that's not an easy task. And it's exciting to be a part of it. And, you know, I'm glad I was able to be here. Obviously, plenty of success with developing young talent and getting them to win on the highest level. Are you surprised at all with how Coach Staley's been able, what she's been able to do with this young team? I'm really not surprised because I've known her for a long time, and, and I probably knew her well before she knew me. I followed her at UVA. I followed her in the WNBA and the three gold medals, and I admired her you know, from a distance. My wife had actually worked in the WNBA with the Sting, so I was close to the situation. And then when Eric Hyman hired her, I, I was thinking, wow, what a, what a tremendous hire. She, she gets it. She played. She understands it. She, she's done it all, and she's won at a high level, and, and she understands that, that it's important. The overall success of a team is about a body of work and not one player or two players. And, and um, she, she coaches like she plays, and, and she, she, kept a, she kept it her way. She stayed to the blueprint that she brought in here, and she's having great success. And I'm really not surprised, and, and I, I do believe that you know, she'll stay in position to compete at the highest level, as she has done. Coach, can you talk about a couple years ago when there was that flirtation after the Sweet 16 of maybe perhaps she would leave, and you step in, and it's your job to keep her here. Best decision you ever made? Um, it, was a, it was a difficult time in my first year as an AD. I remember distinctly when I got the call on a Wednesday afternoon, Easter week, and I, the call came in from Ohio State, and I, I was thinking, you know, this may be a, a call to play football. I didn't know what the call was about. So I returned the call, and they said, no, we'd like to tell you that we're going to come after your women's basketball coach. And, and that was unsettling to me. Um, I have great respect for Dawn, certainly didn't want her to leave our university. I immediately called Dr. Pestides and, and I said, I need to go to work. I need your support to, to try to make this happen. And, um, and, and Dawn was great. She's very happy at Carolina and you know, she's got some roots down now. She didn't get on an airplane and we were able to, to keep her here. And uh, it is a great decision, not necessarily mine. It's the board of trustees and Dr. Pestides and everybody involved and, and all of our Gamecocks are excited that she's here. Well, it's a, daily, it's a daily mission that you're on as a program, and, and Coach Staley understands that better than anybody, that you know, it's, not an individual, it's not an individual deal. It's a team sport, and one day it's going to be Tiffany, the next day it's going to be Alicia, and it's going to be Elena, and it's, everybody contributes to having a successful program, and, and that's what she preaches, that um, you know, we're going to do the things that we need to do as a team to be successful, and at the end of the day, we win as a team, and you know, she... Like I said, her, her intuitiveness is as great as any coach that I've ever seen. She understands what she needs to do to be successful, and her team follows suit. She, she has walked the walk, and her, I think her players understand that. They respect that. And, you know, at the end of the day, and I've heard this, you know, over the years, you know, people don't care how much you know till they know how much you care. Well, her players know, know how much she cares, and that's, that's acceptable. Kind of an extended trip on the West Coast. How comforting will it be to know that you can play at home next year for at least the two rounds if you earn it? Well, that is comforting. I, I think it's a great move for women's basketball that it's merit based. I, I don't know everything that went into it, but I know that it was it was a successful initiative when college baseball went this way, and I certainly think it will be for women's basketball as well. I, I know that we're all appreciative of a number one seed, and you know the teams that we've played so far. I, I think that. That is correct, but it was a long trip, no doubt about it. With all the recent success that Gamecocks Athletics has always had, how nice is it to have women's basketball kind of, you know, up in the rear? I mean, with, with the number one seed. Yeah, well, it's exciting, and like I said, it, it's um, great for our university. And, and these these women and Coach Staley and her staff, they, they deserve it. They went through the SEC and won the, won the championship outright. That's a difficult thing to do in our league in a lot of sports. So I understand that I've been there, but um, it, it is deserving to be where we are today. And 
it's great. Coach Staley has so much respect for other teams on our campus, and it's vice versa. And, and people pull for her and her team, and, you know, it's, uh, it has embraced the campus. You know, with, the, with the, the 32s and the 16s that have been flying around, it's been all over the place. So uh, we're all excited to, to be here, and hopefully we'll get a chance to continue to play.